Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Now, against my better judgment, we're gonna move on. Because I killed Velstat, I'm pumped up, ready to get going here. Alright, you motherfucker. Oh, there's actually music playing. Hey there. Um. Hey there. Okay. He's not... Is this an NPC? Like, what the fuck? What is this? King's Ring. It looks like there are clothes here. This guy obviously felt like getting naked. Wait a second. Hey, I just got a trophy. King's... Is this King Vendrick? Or whatever his name is. He has a crown on, I think. If I can get my crossbow out. Yep, he has a crown on. Wow, this guy is obviously hollowed as fuck. Look at his clothes. Yeah, he wanted to get naked. That's f Oh, hey there. Is that the Emerald Herald? How the hell did she end up here? She would have had to fall... Uh, she would have had... God damn it. Alright, sentence abandoned. Thought abandoned. But yeah, she obviously just followed me. Or, or she can teleport. Hey there. This ring is the symbol of the king. Someone is fighting him. Use it to gain passage through the king's gate. And venture to the far east. Bearer of the curse. If you are to be the next monarch, then one day you will walk through his grounds. Without really knowing why. Okay. Enigmatic, as always. And then she just shuts up. Um, judging by the amount of bloodstains here, I probably don't want to piss him off. So you know what? I'm not gonna... I have 69,050 souls. So... The last thing I want to do is waste them. In fact... We are going to Homeward Bone out of here. Alright, so we have the King's Ring. I'm assuming I can finally get through those, those doors that say you need to produce the King's uh, symbol or symbol of the King. And I'm trying to think. There was one in the Forest of the Fallen Giants. I remember that one for sure. And there was one in um, the Shaded Woods. So I just gotta decide which one to go to first. Let's read the description of the ring. I can actually find it. King's Ring. A powerful soul is like a curse and Vendrick, king of Drang Lake, used a powerful soul to keep, a, to keep the curse at bay. King Vendrick sought greater souls and made the giant's strength his own but even still the curse overcame him. Sounds like what hap what's happening to me. I'm getting more and more powerful souls but I still cannot stop the hollowing. What crossbow? Is that Evelyn? That guy has? I think it was. Alright, let's go to the Shaded Woods. Um, this is it. Apparently there's a bonfire there that I missed. Oh well, that's honestly the least of my concerns. Yeah, this is definitely... Unless the bonfire is past the king's door. So we'll check this one out first. And I'll probably check out the one in the forest. If this one turns out not to lead anywhere. But I think it's time we use the human effigy. Just to get ourselves all pumped up and everything. I should go back to Majula and level up. Yeah, that would be a smart idea. I just realized I have 69,000 souls. I can actually do something with this. And that guy had the um, Black Knight Great Axe. It's really cool how the Black Knight weapons actually survived through... Because, well, according to some people who, like, analyze the lore, like, two to three thousand years passed since the first Dark Souls. So, yeah, you kind of expect the Black Knight weapons to survive. Bearer of the curse. They are pretty sturdy weapons. I love how she just winds up wherever we happen to be. She's very good at following us. Alright. 
stats. Um, I cannot really. My agility is not going up as much. So, we'll do this. We'll do this. Um, I guess endure. I, you know what? I don't need vitality. I just put it into endurance. And I'm also going to stock up on some. Not what I wanted to do. But what I do want to do is stock up on some life gems here. Let's get like. I don't know, like 11. I don't know why. Random number. Yeah, I guess that puts us at 45. Okay, back to the Shaded Woods. Let's make some actual progress. Well, I've already made plenty of progress. That last episode... Holy shit. That definitely goes into my top 10 Dark Souls 2 moments. If I had to make like a compilation, that is definitely... Or that would definitely be one of my top choices. Because holy shit. I still cannot believe I actually killed him. He actually reminded... He's kind of like a combination... Or he was kind of like a combination of... Artorias and... Garl Vinland from Demon Souls. Haven't read his soul yet. I kind of... I like reading boss souls. Um, probably the last one. Oh. Oh, this is cool. It's like all dark and something and everything. Soul of the Wellstat, Defender, wait, Soul of the Wellstat? I thought Wellstat was his name. Maybe that's a typo. Defender of the King inside the Undead Crypt. Wellstat was always at the King's side. Yeah, it is his name. As if he were his Lord's own shadow. After the King retired to the Undead Crypt, Wellstat followed never to return. Interesting. So he was a loyal knight, but it looked like he fell to the dark in the end. Maybe he just likes using hexes. Alright. Let's hope this leads somewhere worthwhile. Cause we've been waiting for this moment for long for a long time. Getting the king's ring. Does it actually do anything besides Um open these doors? I don't think it does. Hey there. Oh yeah, it's unlocking. Well, after 53 episodes, we're finally here. And it just leads to a dead end. That would be the ultimate tease. Aldia's Keep. Loving the skyboxes in this game. Kind of like the whole atmosphere. It actually, the atmosphere of this game reminds me more of Demon Souls than Dark Souls. We like kind of like the foggy environments. I don't know if I should put on this or the Life Ring plus two. Do I need this extra life? Ah, you know what? I'll take the poise. The poise break instead. Don't like the sound of. Oh, is the gate closing? I thought I just activated a trap or something. Soul of a Nameless Soldier, Petrified Dragonbone. I s definitely see something. Oh, these guys have toxins on them, don't they? I think enemies that have like that cloud around them produce toxic. Toxic status. Um, I guess their corpses stay. Treasure ahead, but be wary of trap. Okay, alluring skull. Wait, there's a bonfire there. Finally. Alright. Can rest easy. We're in a new area. Let's go ahead and explore. Aldia's Keep. I guess we'll use the front entrance. Why not? There's treasure down there. Is there actually? Yeah, okay, good. I was worried there's no way out of this if you go down here, but I guess it's all good. Okay. 
nothing much happened so far. Uh oh. Uh oh. Aslatiel of Mira. Don't like the sound of that. Shit. Oh no, this guy is gonna be trouble. He has a ton of HP. Oh crap. Wow. And a lot of stamina too. He looks like Lucatil. Didn't like Lucatil have like a dialogue thing about having a brother? I think we just found him. Yeah. And we're gonna probably have to kill him. Alright, dodging is definitely a better option than just straight up blocking. But he's dead. He was... All of the invaders are... It seems like they're a bit more difficult than... In Dark Souls. Um, oh, this looks like a hidden door, but I guess not. And this is definitely something straight out of Demon's Souls. Visions of... <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. Be wary of skeleton. I'm waiting for something to burst out of that thing. But I guess not. Holy shit. That's a dragon. That is a fucking dragon. Oh shit, and it's alive. Well, there you have it. First undead dragon of the game. Wow. That I did not expect. I thought I was out of his range, but I guess he thought differently. God damn, how come I can never stay human for more than five minutes in this game? Seems to be like a running theme here. And I don't like it. Oh well, not that there is really... Well, actually there is an advantage of being human. It's having full HP. And as long as I don't die too much. I can keep going. Alright, this run should be pretty easy. It looks like those carts or wagons have basilisks in them. Is the dragon gonna respawn? Who knows? Most likely not. No, it looks like that's a one-time thing. But the basilisk is here. We're gonna kill it before it decides to petrify us. Poison stone. Alright, we can go forward or up the stairs. Can we break these? No. They're just tempting us with treasure. Alright. Really cool area. Can I just say that? Oh, that's a giant basilisk. That is definitely something I don't like. But we can go around here. And find that this leads nowhere. Except to this guy. Use a fragrant branch of your... Do I really want to fight one of these things? Well, if I am going to fight it, I don't know. I guess the benefit of fighting him would be getting the shortcut. Easier to run up the stairs. Although these enemies with that you unpetrify always have something to, something to drop or they always have um, some kind of like key or something. So you know what? Fuck it. We'll unpetrify it. And promptly get out of the way. If I could actually hit it, I guess you cannot hit it when it's waking up. Wouldn't want it to be unfair. Luckily, since he is on a different level than us, things should be a lot easier. Or maybe not. He 
doesn't seem to want to move. Alright, you know what? We'll shoot him in the eye. You can just cheese him like this. Come on, I fought these guys plenty of times before. I actually managed to kill... Holy shit, once again. How much HP do I have? Wait, where is my... Uh, it doesn't say, seriously. Player status, come on, where is it? Probably just missing it. God damn, that is amazing. Look at my HP, holy shit. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're going to chuck here. How I always get so lucky, I honestly couldn't tell you. Just seems to be built into my Dark Souls game. Kill it! Come on, I'm having way more trouble than this, that with this guy than I should have. And you drop Dragon Acolyte Mask. Great. I'm happy. It's an armor piece. Alright, wait. I want to use this. Let's at least check it out. It better be something awesome. Dragon Acolyte Mask. What the hell? What the hell? Look at this thing. I'm like a fucking medieval astronaut. You know what? It was worth it. Hopefully I can find the rest of this set. Uh, I thought this thing would look better. Because it looked awesome on the enemies. Alright. Basilisk. Does it actually do anything? Yes, it does. It attacks. Didn't mean to piss you off. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Have I just committed a horrible mistake? I think I might have. Why do I feel the need to attack every single enemy that I come across. This guy has a ton of HP. And those fucking eyes. Fake eyes, but still. He doesn't seem to want to attack. I wish I could, like, poison it or something. Okay, it's spewing out. Petrifying gas. I haven't even killed it halfway. out yeah okay all its attacks are going over my head but I'm not hitting him either come on I can kill this guy the only reason I died to the first one in the shaded woods is because I got stupid okay that's a good bit of damage they have a tail attack all right I'm close now. Don't want to get carried away. That gas covers a lot of ground, so... I'd rather be cautious. Let's bait him into doing... something. Think I got it. And you're... Not dead. Now you're dead. That was a bit too close. But we got a magic stone and crimson water. Worthless. <laughs> That's actually pretty worthless. Okay, dragon statue. Do I actually want to pull it? Not sure if I do. What does this do? This switch. Nothing. You know what? It probably lets the basilisk out of its cage or something. We really have no choice, so let's pull this thing. And the way is open. I'm gonna use a life gem here. Don't like the look of this place. Ah, shit. Saw you there. Your fucking weapon gave you away. It's a dragon acolyte. I guess these guys are called... So we really have to be careful of ambushes. 
Hopefully they're not gonna like release that ogre on me. Although knowing this game, it probably will. They're trying to trick me, or trying to ambush me. It's not gonna happen. These guys have a lot of HP. And they deal good damage. Please tell me there's a bonfire here somewhere. This place looks like a mad scientist's experiment lab or something. Illusion ahead. Um, there's a yellow fog down there. Which usually means corrosion to my armor. Okay, this is locked. So I really don't want to go down there. If I don't have... Whoa! Oh no, for a second... I saw that I, for a second I thought it was the chained prisoner. Um, not gonna open it. Or I'd rather not open it. What do we have here? Let's see if we can... Ah, come on. Yep. Steal my ambush away. Oh, you have Estus flasks? Nice. Aldeas hammer. Interesting. <laughs> Let me out of here. I share your pain. So, is it safe to go down there or is it not? Like I said, anything that's kind of got a yellow haze to it, I'm wary of. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. Ah, shit. I'm gonna switch back to my... Halberd, if I can actually find it. Yeah, that is definitely acid. So, the, it's a good thing I didn't just, like, jump down the hole. We've seen these guys before in the, uh, in the gutter, I think. Hopefully, they're a bit easier this time around. Well, they deal more damage and... All that shit, but... This shouldn't be much of a problem. I just come out of the acid. Good, 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 good. After I kill this one, I'm probably gonna use a repair powder just... Just to be... On the safe side of things. What really sucks is when your equipment breaks. Especially... Again? I'm not using a cheat or anything. This just happens to me all the time. Okay, so you know what? Let's see what this treasure is. I probably didn't need to remove my items. Hopefully there isn't like another enemy in here. We have corrosive urns. That's pretty good. We have Aldea's key. Probably pretty good. And we have Soul Geyser and Petrified Dragon Bone. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is end the episode here. My roll speed definitely got better. And I can punch. So yeah, I'm gonna put my equipment back on. And yeah, in the next episode we're gonna pick up here inside Aldea's Keep. So I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.